This is Al Jazeera, and these are the top stories now. Polls have just opened in Turkey's first presidential runoff election. Voters are choosing between President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and opposition candidate Kemal Kilic Daroglu. Results are expected hours after voting ends. The U.S. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy and President Joe Biden say they've reached an agreement in principle to raise the debt ceiling after weeks of negotiations. They made the deal just days before an expected default. It increases the amount the government can borrow for the next two years, but cuts some federal spending. I just got off the phone with the president. I talked to him twice today. And uh, after weeks of negotiations, we have come to an agreement in principle. We still have a lot of work to do. But I believe this is an agreement in principle that's worthy of the American people. At least one person has been killed and several injured in Russian drone strikes on Kyiv. Kyiv's military said air defenses downed more than 40 of the drones. Thousands of Serbs have marched through the streets of Belgrade, demanding the government do more to tackle corruption and violence. Protests started four weeks ago after two mass shootings in which 18 people were killed. Meanwhile, Serbia says its forces stationed near the Kosovo border will remain on their highest state of alert. It's in response to violence on Friday between police in northern Kosovo and ethnic Serbs angry over the election of ethnic Albanian mayors. The World Food Programme has confirmed it has resumed the delivery of aid in Sudan's capital, Khartoum. Deliveries have been repeatedly delayed because of fighting. Earlier this month, operations were suspended following the killing of three aid workers. The UN says more than half of Sudan's population is in need of humanitarian assistance. And an avalanche in northern Pakistan has killed at least 11 members of a nomadic tribe. A group of families was crossing the northern Shanta Top Pass when they were hit by the avalanche. Another 13 people were injured, including a child.